Hi guys, welcome back to Articulate. Today we will be looking at this uh, impressive 16 skill Deadpool. So let's have a look at the box. Uh, this is the uh, 16 skill Deadpool. Uh, this is not the Hot Toys uh, Deadpool. Uh, this is actually more or less uh, like a 1 6 scale 12 inches uh, Marvel Legends uh, enlarge and some sort of uh, articulated uh, action figure. Alright, uh, straight out of the box, uh, this is how it looks. Uh, I have to say, the possibility of this figure is absolutely stunning. As you, can, as you can see here, uh, there are a lot of options that you can pose this guy because uh, the material here is, uh, I believe, is uh, PVC. So posing him is uh, no problem at all. Uh, you can have it uh, in any pose you like. Uh, actually, this is more, more or less similar to the possibility of uh, probably a Marvel Select. Uh, before I go any further, uh, probably I will uh, show you some of the uh, accessories uh, included. First off, uh, these are the uh, hands. Uh, other than the hands that I have uh, over here, which are the uh, sword and gun holding uh, hands, uh, it does come with uh, one, two, three, four, five more extra hands. So uh, this uh, open open palm relax hands, uh, finger pointing hands, very nice. A thumbs up, a thumbs up hand, and uh, so you may want to recreate this. Uh, Okay, hand uh, together with this uh, finger pointing hand, probably you may have to censor yourself. So, uh, these are the hands included. Other than that, uh, believe it or not, it does come with this uh, magnetized uh, eyes expression. Uh, all these are in uh, magnets, as you can see here. So what you need to do is actually peel off the uh, eyes from here and uh, you can actually throw in some of these uh, squinted eyes, probably angry eyes. Uh, as for myself, I still feel that um, these eyes uh, look a little bit better than the rest. So probably I will uh, stick to this uh, expression uh, for this uh, Deadpool. So in terms of articulation, uh, the head actually move freely up, down, left and right. The neck actually is also uh, articulated. Uh, you can actually have him down, no problem at all. So you can actually look all around. So, isn't that very nice. As for the body here, all of these are sculpted. As you can see, this. Um, this uh, belt here actually is uh, separated from this uh, section so uh, if you have him slightly uh, post rotated this uh, may uh, split as though this is uh, broken off so you may have to be careful on that uh, the hands are very nice it does hold very steadily on the uh, guns of course uh, in terms of, of uh, accessories it does come with two pair of uh, guns uh, one on my uh, right hand of this figure and uh, there's another one on the holster here uh, it does come with this blade uh, another one down here and also a small knife which is uh, slotted at the uh, boots boots over here on the right hand side the um, belt 
uh, over here is actually molded together with the uh, waist all around so you won't be having this uh, moving around uh, it will be uh, stationary in fixed position all these are also molded in one piece uh, except for the uh, boots here actually the boots are very artic articulated very nice so as for the uh, swan here you can actually him uh, putting in the uh, sword uh, to the back of uh, that pool here on this uh, two packs at the back so that is uh, how uh, that pool will look and uh, in terms of art articulation it is a very very impressive figure uh, I will show you some of the uh, poses and uh, uh, type of uh, dynamic uh, look that you can achieve with uh, this figure now before I go any further uh, I just want to uh, point out some of the um, issues with this uh, figure uh, one of it is actually the torso and the chest actually is uh, easily uh, taken off so it does have a big ball joint here connected to the torso and also the waist so uh, if you push him to the max, uh, it does dislodge by itself. Uh, on top of that, uh, the tie actually uh, and the uh, this uh, waist area actually is uh, very loose. You can actually have him uh, dislodge down to have a slightly more uh, range on this figure, but it is very loose. So you may have him. Uh, tuck in in such a way so that it looks way much better other than that I still feel that the, the fi this uh, figure is very impressive look at that the double jointed uh, this uh, joint on the arms is very nice it does uh, pose freely uh, all the way no problem at all Similarly with the uh, hands, very nicely done. So this is how it looks. Uh, okay, uh, maybe I will uh, move on with the uh, possibility uh, that I can achieve with this figure. So stay with me. Alright, this is a pose uh, that I managed to pull off uh, from this figure. Uh, the first pose, as you can see here, uh, that pool here actually can uh, actually do a very nice uh, leaping pose with uh, both of his hands uh, holding the swords. Very nice, look at that. Uh, I doubt that uh, you can uh, pull off uh, this type of uh, uh, possibility in uh, uh, permanent in your shelf uh, because uh, over time uh, as, as you all know the uh, clothing on the uh, body especially on the joints uh, part will actually creases and it may crack so with with this uh, type of uh, figure you don't have to worry about it uh, you may want to pose him in such a way for a very long time and uh, it does still hold up uh, prob probably a year or two so no problem at all you can also switch uh, with another pose uh, and have him in that pose for probably another few more months and uh, you do have a lot of options uh, with this uh, figure very nice uh, the other accessory which I almost missed out is this um, base with the flight stand as you can see here uh, because of the cost of this figure is uh, probably $35 uh, and they do give you this uh, flight stand with uh, this uh, very sturdy pole here which I think uh, it is a very good bargain very very nice 
uh, the other accessory uh, included is the of course the uh, handgun here actually you can have uh, this uh, handguns like open up and close it back a very simple looking handgun but uh, still looking very nice here's the uh, second post uh, which I switch out with the uh, guns on the uh, figure uh, both uh, double wielding and uh, as though that pool is uh, diving backwards and uh, shooting the uh, handgun on his uh, right hand with the left hand uh, swinging to the back as though he, he is actually shooting another enemy from behind so this is how he looks very nice for those of you guys who like um, super hero landing pose um, this is a similar kind of uh, pose that you can uh, pull off with uh, this figure uh, with the right hand uh, having his handgun uh, punching the ground and the left hand uh, shifting at the back very nice of course uh, you have to stress this figure uh, to the max especially the tie here uh, is a, a little bit uh, exposed but uh, nevertheless uh, the Deadpool here still can pull off uh, this kind of uh, pose is considered very nice very very impressive uh, the third pose here actually I just want to show you the uh, arms how the double jointed arms actually can be uh, stretched to the max it can actually bend slightly more than uh, 90 degrees and it does have this uh, small little butterfly joint so as you can see here the handgun is actually touching his uh, forehead so he does stand very nicely by itself very nice here's another pose to actually show the uh, neck joint on the head actually you can actually have him pose all the way uh, tilted so you can actually have this uh, range of uh, emotion as though Deadpool is trying to tell you something about his gun very nice look at that So don't ask me why, uh, but this is the uh, hands uh, that are included. So this is also in the movie, and uh, you can recreate that. So over here, one last pose uh, for this uh, Deadpool. Uh, you can have him in uh, such a way. Uh, mix and match with the uh, sword and the handgun very nice of course uh, you can have him also uh, the hands in such a way and the uh, sword in another position you will have uh, another look very easily just by having the hands move around uh, Deadpool here is looking very nice absolutely stunning alright uh, finally for size uh, comparison uh, on my right hand side uh, I believe you all know uh, that uh, this is the uh, crazy toys uh, this statue is based on the uh, 
I believe uh, Sideshow Collectible 16Q uh, I do uh, change the uh, weapons here with uh, this uh, assault rifle on both hands uh, he does look very nice and of course uh, on my left hand side is this uh, action figure it is a very posable action figure in terms of uh, size uh, he is actually slightly uh, higher than the uh, crazy toys on my uh, right hand side so this guy here is super articulated look at that all right uh, on one more last uh, size comparison uh, on my right hand side uh, this is the iron man mark uh, 6 uh, from hot toys uh, of course uh, this one is uh, slightly on uh, this uh, huge base compared with uh, Deadpool but uh, both of them actually uh, in 1.6 scale uh, in terms of size is actually very comparable uh, of course Iron Man is a, a max suit so I believe uh, if a human height uh, without the uh, Iron Man suit uh, it will be slightly very close to this uh, Deadpool very nice look at that absolutely stunning so uh, there you have it uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video until then a ticklet signing off remember to share subscribe and spread the love see you guys next time cheers Oh, <laughs>